Hey Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today we're going to be doing your May reading. So let's see what's in store, what advice you may need, what reminders the universe is intending to send you, Aries. I'm going to be shuffling the cards and selecting the ones that whoop, suits us best. Okay, Aries, let's see what we have here. This month of May, you may be needing to tap into your patience because there are cycles that are closing, there are cycles that are opening, and there's a possibility for you not to be as clear as you would like to feel um, in your mind and in your emotions. The Seven of Cups, for me, is a card that speaks about fog. So mental fog, not knowing exactly what is in store for you in each of the different options that you may have. You might be feeling confused. There's a lot of things being maybe offered to you or different paths that you can take or options in general. And you don't know which one could actually um, bring in great results and which might be a little um, ineffective for your goals or your dreams. Some Aries out there might be going through um, changes. Important chapters in your life are closing. Important chapters in your life are opening. There's a new beginning opening up here. It seems like you have completed something important. It seems like there's a lot of things that maybe at some point you wished for. You hoped for you worked for and now those things are here those things are manifested they are real i guess you could say in the physical realm at the same time a selected group out there of aries might be going through some conflict some drama with other people i feel like there might be energies of a lot of people around you perhaps friends co-workers or just people in your environment who are very passionate about their points of view to such a degree that it might become a little bit of a conflict between all of you guys it might become very messy so be careful with that try not to get pulled into that if that is not something that you desire could this situation could potentially make you feel like you're being left out, like you are being left out in the cold and maybe all of these people are so um, passionate about this cause or this idea or this belief and they might not be agreeing with you and their disagreement of you might make you feel like you have been left out. Some of you guys might be feeling a little wounded this month because of this aggression or conflict or due to other things, you might be feeling a little bit weak a little bit low in energy perhaps um, some of you guys might be feeling like like you're out of the place where all the goodness is so maybe you're being um, excluded from a situation or an event or a group or something um, this could be the same situation could be different situations obviously take what resonates leave the rest there's a lot of Aries here um, and of course not everything is gonna resonate for each one of you if you ever would like a personalized reading tapping on into your specific energy I'm gonna be leaving the link below in the description box we can work together a half hour a complete hour or even more um, tapping into the energies of your life and what you are going through this is a general read so if the message doesn't apply for you, it might apply for some other person out there. So yeah, it seems like you're also like looking back on your career, on your professional world, on your achievements, the things that you have manifested. And you might be feeling very proud of yourself. You might be feeling very um, accomplished and successful and impressed with your previous efforts. Some of you guys are going to be feeling very abundant this month. We have here the Nine of Crystals or Nine of Pentacles in regular decks. Some others of you might feel all these things and still say, I feel amazing. I feel accomplished. I've done so many things, but I want more. How can I get more? How can I take my potential even higher? Um, some of you guys might be receiving 
kind of like a divine intervention in which the universe is going to align everything for you. Some of you guys could be traveling in the month of May or be um, in a process of planning a trip, whether that's a short-term trip or a long-distance trip. Um, but you're definitely moving away from conflict, from drama. You're definitely moving into a space of patience and calmness and trusting the process. Some of you guys, those who have, um, those who live at home with their families, um, who maybe have children, you guys are going to be experiencing a lovely vibe at the home space. Others of you are going to be experiencing, well, I think I feel like May is definitely a month for closures and new beginnings with the world and the star seed card. So you guys might be needing to make some decisions about this conflict and this feeling of being left out and the confusion of it all. This could be at the beginning of the month. Making decisions that are important in order to have this new beginning, maybe somewhere else, maybe in a different country, city, home, apartment a different place or space whether that's at work or at your home situation but you're definitely moving into something better it seems have a lot of patience if you'd like to work with crystals um work with citrine amethyst those are the ones that i feel like are calling me the most in this reading let's see what else comes up for you guys Some of you guys might be dealing with fire signs, Leo, Aries, or Sash. There's a lot of fire energy. Others of you might be dealing with air signs, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But it seems like there's an important presence within your life that you could perhaps admire someone who has a strong presence in your life could be a male could be a husband boyfriend teacher mentor father but i feel like it's a male energy for some of you allow yourself to dream allow yourself to envision things that might even seem illogical like take yourself there take yourself to the wildest most authentic dreams that you could have for yourself and don't cut yourself off through thought make sure that you rest enough this month make sure that you sleep as much as you need to um try to you know include some naps here and there so you can be well rested try to hydrate yourself try to have good habits because it seems like you're recharging your energy here with the four of swords or you need to do so in order to um take on the things that are coming for you you are the queen of wands you are a fiery passionate motivated inspired beautiful artistic woman who um is very strong and very beautiful at the same time it's this unshakable inner strength and external inner beauty and you are someone who is very kind very sweet but if robbed the wrong way you might be very aggressive in your pursuit and that is a very passionate um, part of your personality that is tapped into in the month of may perhaps with this conflict and the whole drama that i mentioned earlier So yeah, definitely rest. I think it's important for you guys. And observe yourself. Observe yourself. Objectively, honestly. And observe which people need to leave your life. Because they're no good for you anymore. In the sense that they have served their purpose. Observe if you need to walk away from something or someone. We have the moon card. So this is a card of, to me, mystery. 
it's a card of the subconscious mind it's kind of like the fog that we have here in the seven of cups it's represented also in the moon there might be secrets you might be holding secrets or within withholding information from others around you others might be hiding information from you or ha having secrets i don't think that they're ill intentioned though it's just you're not seeing the whole picture just yet um, you might be doing a lot of subconscious healing work as you sleep and rest. And I think that that could be actually very healing for you and very powerful. Um, make sure to check out the full moon and the new moon and how that affects your sign. There's a lot of great astrologers here on YouTube. Make sure to check out how the faces of the moon are going to impact you this month because it seems to be important as well. Um, so yeah, you guys, it seems like a great month, a lot of activity. It seems like you are leaving something that isn't serving you anymore behind, stepping into a new beginning, regardless of how you feel, moving forward, making a change, being patient, closing chapters, and stepping into a higher, more powerful version of you. So I am very glad to be sharing this reading with you. I enjoy doing this reading so much, honestly, you guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love to have you here. Please make sure you subscribe before you leave. I'm also going to be doing a mid-May reading for you guys um, for the sign of Aries. So you can also check that out. The best way to get notified about that is to click the little bell below so you know when your video is out. Um, what else? I'm going to leave my information below for personalized readings. And I'm going to also leave donation links in the description box below if you ever feel like you want to support my channel or support me as I support you with these readings. I'm sending so much love your way and I hope you have a wonderful month of May.